So in this first video, we are looking at the physical controls of the desk. We're not going to worry too much about what the menu options are for the moment, because later videos we're going to cover those in a fair amount of depth. So looking at the physical controls, the first thing you'll see is the 17 motorized faders. We have two banks of eight, the left bank, the right bank, and then we have our 17th fader, which is the the main left and right volume output. On the left side of the banks, you have your bank patches. So we have channels 1 to 8, 9 to 16, all the way through to all of our 32 channels. Then we have our aux ins, then we have our effects returns, master buses 1 through 8, and then we have the master buses 1 through 12, and then our effects buses, or sends, effect sends. So on the right hand side, we have our DCAs, we have our buses all the way through, and then we have our matrix mixes. And then we also have our mono um, main send if that is activated. One cool thing you can do with the banks is that you can combine them. So using the buttons on the left hand side, if you wanted to manage, say, 16 channels all together, you press them two together, it gives you 16. But say you wanted to look at your auxiliaries in and your channels 9 to 16, you could do that. So, so you've got 9 to 16 and then your auxiliaries in. That's a cool little tip. So on the channel strip, you have your select button. This select button activates the physical functions within that channel, within its signal path, and it also will affect anything that you change for the channel in the menu. We have a solo, which is for monitoring purposes or as someone I know likes to call it is a P45 button. This is currently only set to solo in the headphones or in the engineer's monitors. You can change it, but I recommend that you don't. We also have a channel mute. So we've got a channel selected. Then from there, we can adjust nearly all of the controls that we need to, initially anyway. So if we look at the channel strip in its signal path, we first have our gain, which is just this pot here. We can apply phantom power. We can change the polarity of the signal. We also have an inbuilt low cut. This low cut is separate to the EQ, but it is shown on the EQ page. If you wanted to view that page, you just hit this little button called view, and it takes you directly to it. If you hit the view again, it will take you back to where you were. To activate the low cut, I've just got this toggle switch, one of the lights on is activated. That is the same for all of these. So the gate you can turn on, compressor on, EQ on, main bus, left, right, if you want to send stuff there. So imagine you would do. So following the, uh, the gain, the next thing in the signal chain is the gate. So we can only control the threshold here. So if you want to affect the attack or release of that, you need to do that in the menu system. But to turn the gate on is here. To view it in the menu system is here. And then we can adjust our threshold accordingly. Same for the compressor. Compressor, if you wanted to change um, your knee or your um, attack and release times or your mix of the compressor, you go to view but this gives us initial control over our threshold. Then we have the EQ. The EQ actually comes before the compressor. I've just followed the desk. So the EQ, you can change, each channel's got four band EQ, irrespective of this low cut, so that low cut makes it a five channel if you like. 
So you can select your band, and then you can select, you can change within that. You can change the mode, which, as you scroll through, you'll see, will give you different curve types. So at the moment, that's set to a high cut. So changing the Q or the quality, you can change that. It will be better if I did the bell curve. So if I give that some gain, so you can see just about on the screen. So I've increased the gain of that frequency. It's got quite a small Q. Where you can see that the gain pop positive will go around clockwise. Negative gain will go around anti-clockwise. Frequency is just a sweep, but there's some nice little indicators on where that sits. The quality you can see for quite a fine Q, you'll see there's one light, but as you try to expand that, it will fan out from the end. But as again with everything else, EQ on, EQ on, EQ off, then your view to take you through to that main EQ page. We also have our sends. So if you wanted to look at your mix bus sends, so where you're sending these to your mix buses, just hit view and then you can adjust those using the pots on the main menu. There are other ways to do it which we'll come to shortly. Then we can look at our mono bus. So that was within our matrices. You can see that our matrix and main central. So this affects the level being sent there and you can activate that here. And then we have our main left right, which you can also view here. And then you can pan that left and right. So the the amount of signal being sent to the main left right is where the faders. The level being sent to the bus, the mono bus, which you can use for things like subs or whatever you want to use it for, is activated here. And then the amount of send is sent here. So if we were looking at our mix sends, this is something a little bit beyond the basic functionality of this desk. If we selected our mix bus, we can, if we select our mix bus one, say that's going to be a monitor mix for our, whoever, lead singer, and we've got our mic set here. If you hit send on fader, we can send those channels at unit gain, a little bit less for those, and that will be our mix. So always remember to turn this off because I don't know how many times I've tried to adjust a mix and all I've done is change someone's monitor. We also have a door remote button. I'm going to do a separate video on this because I'm going to show you the settings of how to set that up in Logic and Pro Tools. But it allows you to run in Huey or Mackie mode um, files or it allows you to use this, this bank of eight here and your main left right with solo controls and these pots here if you wanted to change any particular settings within your plugins for example pan left right all that sort of stuff um, it allows you to change that within any Huey or Mackey enabled door. Other things that we have on the physical controls is we have a talkback section so these are momentary or oh, talkback B is set to on, off, so we have a level, talk about A, we'll go through that in another video. We also have monitoring, we can also view our monitoring options here, we've also got a dim, 
if you want to dim our monitors. So we've got a phones level, headphone jacks are on the side, here and here, found in the handles, and then we have a main monitor level, so there is monitor outputs, dedicated monitor outputs on the back. We have USB access here. This USB allows you to record two track uh, stereo mix from wherever you decide that it, you want it to come from. Usually that's left, right. I have had serious problems recording. It's a known bug within the software, even with the upgraded version of uh, 4.02 of the firmware that I'm running at the moment. I was doing a gig the other night, I was trying to record it and the desk just froze and eventually just turned itself off. Luckily it rebooted fairly quickly, but I would not recommend using the USB to record. But we're going to go through some of the USB functionality later in another video. It also allows you to play back uh, tracks as well. So you can see here we have tracks. Then we have our mute groups. So this is on off for our mute, group, our mute groups. So they just toggle on and off. And we'll look at how to set those mute groups up later. We have an assign section. These buttons can be assigned to whatever you want. And there is an option of having 24 buttons in use. So you have three sets of eight, but you have to toggle between the sets. At the moment, I've got these set up to manage um, some of the transport controls in my door. And then we have scenes. So this is our show saving options. And that's it for the physical functionality on the desk. It gives you nearly everything that you need to do right at your fingertips.